Okay, we're going to explore aggro, this mystery that's been boggling us today and yesterday and the past six months. Uh, but I figured it out. Or, oh, fuck. Um, okay. So, basically, I'm going to play with fire giants. And, uh, just for a reference, we're going to do a belly caster versus non-belly caster. So, I'm going to grab a non-belly caster first. So, Deese is going to get a shit ton of aggro. Or, just... Enough aggro. One slow will do. I'm gonna cast slow and get aggro. And just for a reference point, I'm going to be out of. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna be out of melee range. And I'm gonna take aggro. Wait for some to wear off. And now it comes at me. Very good. I was gonna kill this. I'm gonna have to cut this part out. Okay, it's dead. Alright, anyway, so as you saw, one stun took aggro from slow. So as we shall now demonstrate, a belly caster, which fire giants are. Give aggro to Disa. And now I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to take it back. That didn't work. That didn't work. That's an AC buff. Third stun. Fourth stun, eventually. I don't think everyone wants this. Fifth stun? I don't know, I lost count. Sixth, whatever. Um, sit. Nothing when I get sit, so I don't even have enough sit aggro to take over slow with one stun. When I move into melee range and do one stun, flip. See, I got aggro. So all those stuns did nothing while I was out of aggro range or melee range. Um, so I'm gonna back up, and it's gonna be on Disa. And this is the whole fucking problem that we have with everything. So even though I have, uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna level the playing field. So I'm going to slow again with Disa. Get aggro, and then I'm just going to taunt, which is going to give me basically equal, but slightly over aggro. So, I now have like one point of aggro more than DC. So if I back up, it's going to be on DC. Um, further, if I train it onto Ektar, it'll change to Ektar, as you can see right there. Cannot get it back on DC, no matter what I try to do. No matter how close I get, now that Ektar is in melee range, he stays the target. So, for example, when the Shaman is slowing a mob and it gets out of range for the reason the tank's trying to move it, the problem is that as we are right here, and the tank backs up, it gets trained on the Shaman, so it has to work. So if I want to put it here, the Shaman has to get behind me in any way, shape, or form. No matter how far you are, just get behind where I need to end up to get the, uh, the mob in position. Um, there's gonna be more. Oh yes, that's what it was. So this thing, uh, now that aggro is really close, he's just gonna kind of go to whoever's closer to him. It's a whole proximity thing. So I'm going to move this a little closer to Disa, but it's not going to be in melee range. Now I'm going to run and watch the fire giant's target while he chases me. When I get too far, he's going to change to Disa, even though no one was in melee range. But Disa was closer. When I ran farther away from Disa, or farther away from the giant than Disa was to the giant, he changed targets back to her. 
and if I walk over to him, he's going to switch back to me. Because I have more aggro. And when we're in melee range, that's what takes over. So what did we learn from this? We learned that whenever a special, a special, a special shaman slows and the mob needs to be moved and that shaman just sits there, that's why he dies. Uh, so if we're gonna slow, and it's in a bad position, again, go behind where it needs to go and then the tank can move up as close as he wants right up to that position. Um, oh yeah, sit. Yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of sit aggro. If we're gonna move a target, knights are really good at moving targets. Uh, I'm gonna steal aggro back with Disa. Alright, now this is in a bad position and I want to move it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a taunt. I'm going to stun. I'm going to run. Uh, he's on me. That didn't work out. Okay. Okay. Scratch that. We're going to do that again. Okay. Slow it, Disa. That wasn't enough. Slow it, Disa. Okay, now Disa has aggro. Now let's say we're in a situation where if I stun it, it's going to be too much aggro. But let's say we're in a situation where I get enough aggro for the thing to attack me, but not enough to follow me if I leave range. So to simulate that, we're going to do a taunt, but not a stun because that'll be too much. Which, I mean, in a normal situation, that's exactly what I want to do. If I stun and that's enough to move it, that's exactly what I want, but that's not what we're going to have every time. So I move out of range and it's still on Disa. But when I get where I want to be, I sit, and he comes over to me. If I stand too early, no, don't cast a spell. Okay, let's see what I mean. I, I, I fat fingered. Train on Disa. Go around. All right, let's do that again. So I'm gonna get sit aggro. If I stand too early, it's gonna go back. So either we gotta do what we did earlier, where if it's enough distance, where I can ensure that. I'm closer to the target when I stand, that'll be okay, but for the most part, probably what we're going to have to do is get hit and just charge forward to make sure you're deep within melee range. And yeah, that's how you move a target. Now further, um, based on what we were talking about before, I don't have a third or fourth character, so I can't demonstrate it as beautifully as I do here. Um, but if we're trying to move a target, and let's demonstrate if I don't have enough aggro even with sit let's do two slows see like he's not even paying any attention to me now let's see what happens when I sit so I'm kind of making this up as I go along yeah okay good so I don't have enough aggro even when I sit and here's the thing if I go in here and I have aggro like he turns to me and attacks, but when I back out and sit, he doesn't follow me. If I try again, so here's the problem. If I try again, I'm now an added variable in this whole fucking mess of aggro. So what's to be said from that? Torper. What's to be said from that? That is, if you're a knight and you're trying to help move a target, you try once. You go over here, you sit down. No, that finger. And if you don't get it, you don't go back. I can guarantee you someone else is also trying to do exactly that same thing. So when you go in there, now you're going back, and at the same time, you know, you got missing, running back here, trying to sit down. You're fucking things up for him, because you're just more, you're just another possibility that's going to fuck him up on his aggro. Especially when I do this, taunt and I stun, I now have taken it from missing, and now it's on me. And if I don't have enough, but I do, of course, as we saw earlier. But if I don't, then I'm trying to do this and I screwed it up for missing and now I'm screwing up for myself and it's still in the wrong place. So, knights, try once. If you fail, you're out. You're out. 
Shamans, you move with the tank and you move behind the tank. You move behind where it needs to be. Um, warriors, you guys, you guys just keep on trucking. You know, you know, just hit things, hit him, hit him nice and hard with with your feet, and and things will be great. 